Okay, so I get my requisition and it says pelvis. So there's a couple of things that I'm going to bring with me. I've got my 14 by 17. Okay, and I'll have a grid with me too. Plus I'm gonna bring tape. So normally I like, I like this kind of tape, but I have a lot of this tape, so I'm gonna use this. So remember this goes in the drawer. I have the patient requisition. I, I fold it in half and I put it right there, right? And then I drive in and when I drive in, I'm gonna go parallel to the bed. And I have a little bit of space here. So that way I have room to pull it out. Okay, cool. Leaving my patient piece. I'm gonna set my technique. Um, to 85 to 25 for my CR system, 85 and 12 and a half for DR. Okay. So, I get into the room. Normally, that side is still up. For efficiency, I take this out already. And I come on over and bring this over, right? Then I bring this down, side rail down. So now I do my patient introduction. Hello, my name is such and such, blah, blah, blah. I'm here to do a pelvis x-ray. I get patient identifiers, then I'm going, okay. So I'm going to prepare to put the IR in. So I'm gonna bring the bed up to my level, my hip level, okay? So it's where that crease is and a little bit below. When I pump up the bed, I tell my patient, I'm gonna raise your bed a little bit, okay? And then I do it with this. Da, 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 da. I'm not doing this thing. Okay. So I'm about at that level. Okay, then I take out my sheets. So I'm gonna go crosswise. Okay, and this does have a grid on top, so you won't see this black part, you'll see the white part of the grid. And it makes it a little bit thicker, okay? So then I'm going to place the IR about where I think it needs to go before I even palpate my patient. So if you notice that the bottom part of the IR is about at the level of the pubic symphysis, it's a little bit below. And then the top of the IR is gonna be a little bit above her iliac crest. So I'm gonna already place that bottom part here a little bit below the pubic synthesis. Okay, then I grab my sheets and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna feel for your hip, okay? So I feel for her hip. Then I see with my eyeballs, <laughs> is it at that level? Yes, it is. So I'm good to go. So I have the IR set on my hip. I'm gonna put both hands on the sheet and I'm gonna pull tight. Then I lift up with my hip a little bit just for that initial insertion, okay? And then once I get to that initial part, then I can drop lower. And then I push it all the way in with my hip as far as it'll go, okay? Then I change to one hand. One hand holds the sheet, dominant hand is going to be pushing IR. So I go in the center of the IR and I get to my stance. So one knee bent, one leg straight. This arm is my lever. So this arm has to be straight, no bending, straight. I pull with the sheet and then I push at the same time. Once it's in as far as I think it needs to go, I check to see that it's even on both sides. I have a little bit here and I have the same amount here. I'm gonna also check that my patient isn't rotated. Sometimes they'll be like this, a little bit. And if that's the case, I would pull the sheet on that side. And if she was this way, I would pull the sheet on this side and just even out her hips. Then I do this with the sheet. Come over here and look. I tuck it in so I can see where I'm at. Before I do that though, tape on my marker. And then I put, put it underneath at the bottom. Okay. Like 
this, kind of like this. So now I bring the tube over, turn it on. I'm just putting the top of the light at the top of the IR, and then the bottom of the light at the bottom of the IR. Cool. What's my SID? 40. Okay, I think I'm at 40. I'm at 40. Because I'm cool like that. <laughs> so I'm checking for both planes, right? I check this way, I check either at the head or at the bottom, and it's tilted a little bit. The tube. I'm gonna undo it. Does that look better? Make sure that I'm at the MSP. What's the last thing I do? Feet together, right? When I'm on portables, I usually do this. So I get my tape and I get it ready. Okay, I'm at the bottom of the bed. My patient is looking at me. I say, can you go like this with your feet? Bring your toes together. And she did it. Her feet were far enough apart that she was able to do that. If they were closer and she's out like that, I would put my hands underneath the ankles and I'd say, I'm gonna go ahead and move your legs out a little bit. Now put your toes together. Good. And I take this tape, I'm a right handed, so I go like this, I got it all the way out. This takes the tension off the legs, so go ahead and relax, feels better, 85 at 25. I take this out. I step back and I say, X-ray! Go ahead and hold your breath. Hold your breath. Expose. And breathe. Then I go the reverse. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off. And when I do that, I don't just yank it off. I'm going to hold on to the toes. And then I take it off gently. Okay? And then I let it go. Relax. And then I take this off and I stick it on whatever student's standing next to me. <laughs> okay, now it's time to take the IR out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. So I grab each corner. Oh, before I do that, I take off my marker so I don't lose it. I grab each corner and I'm gonna pull towards myself, but lifting up a little bit. And then I kind of shimmy, and once I get to that one point, then I pull it up this. When I'm done, I have to bring up the rail. Watch your arm, Lauren. Okay, I'm bring this with me. I put that requisition right here, put it back in. And then I say, I'm all done. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay.